Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we had a couple of questions on some of our sites. Somebody was asking me how's best to optimize their pictures uh, for web and also where to get free stock photos from. So I'll show you where I get mine from and I'll show you how I optimize them. My usual go to for straight away usually is pexels.com. Just put in what you're looking for up here. And the results will pop up down below there. When you see an image you like, just simply click on it. Let's have a look at this little image. I'm going to click on the image itself here. It'll pop out into a new window. Here you can choose what size you want to download it. So they got the original, which is 5464 by 3643. It's going to be pretty big. I like to keep my web images, if I can, below a megabyte. And depending on where you want to put it, it's going to dictate the size that you want. So let's go back to our site. For instance, if I wanted this whole hero section here, I want a reasonably big photo. So minimum I do for that is sort of 1920 wide. They've got one right there. So that'd be okay. Let's download that one. And if we look at it in the folder, it's only 826 kilobytes in size, which is great. Now you can donate, you can say thanks, but these are free. You want to check the license with them. And it says free to use here. And just read that if you need to. Most of them are free to use and put on your site. So let's put this in here, make sure it's going to look okay on our hero section. So enable the visual builder. And we'll go into the section and just replace that image. Drag our little picture up here. There we go. And that looks fine. It's very sharp. We can see everything. And that was from less than a megabyte. So it was 800 kilobytes, which is great, that picture right there. And great thing with Divi, if, you, if you're if you getting lost with the writing there, if the picture's too busy, you can pop a background color in also. Go back to your image. And you can use one of the blend features to blend it with the background. So your writing and images look sharper there. And if you want it less so, obviously go back in, click on the field, pull the opacity down to the amount you want there. But of course that's fine. But if you're actually downloading for something smaller like this, you need a much smaller file. So again, if we go back there, go back to the image. Let's find a different image. Let's just use this one right here. For this one, a little 640 by 427 would be fine. Let's download that one. And we'll go back to the site. And let's replace this one right here, which is in our column right there. And this one that I've just downloaded is only 50 kilobytes. As you can see up there, 49 kilobytes. So that's fine for smaller images. But say you have to download a great big image, I'll show you how to optimize it in just a little while. The other great site I go to is called The Stocks, and it's got a list of Pix Free, Photo Creator, Shopify, Burst, Juto, and Pixabay. Took a pic, Stock Snap, Moose Photos, Free Photos, Free Range. There's a whole load here New Old Stock, Visual Hunt, Pick Jumbo. I've got a feeling Pexels is even in here. There's Pexels too. Unsplash, which is also another fantastic site for images. Let's get something from Unsplash and let's get a, a large one. Um, again, let's just do city. And let's use something like this. Original size 36 by 231. Let's grab that one. And if we look at this one, it's almost two megabytes in size. For me, that's a little bit big. Now, if you want to optimize it, I actually use Photoshop for mine. So if I open this with Photoshop, 
and drag it over here I know everybody can't afford Photoshop and I'll tell you about an alternative in a minute here's my original image I can save it for web with my key combination here first thing I do is make it smaller in size 1920 is going to work plenty well for me click on there now I'm going to hit save and we'll call it opt one and if we drag this over now that opt one right there is less than half a megabyte so it's a quarter of the size of our original right there which is 2.02 .02 megabyte 4.23 and it's going to work fine if I pop that in you'll see that it's very sharp go into the section background there And that's absolutely fine. We've got our blue color in there. We can get rid of that if you want to see it as it is. Nice and sharp. That's going to work absolutely perfectly for us. That's less than half a megabyte. Okay, I know not everybody has Photoshop. It's an expensive program. But the alternative that I've been told about is something called GIMP. And I'll put this down below also. And it's just like, apparently everybody says it's just like, uh, Photoshop I don't actually have it but here's the link and here's the download for it plus there's all kind of other graphics programs there and I'm sure even with Microsoft Paint you can do things like that another place to optimize your images is a place called tiny PNG and they're pretty useful if I drag a photo up here let's drag that two megabyte one as you can see it's compressing it and it's finished now let's cut it down to half the size there you can just download it re-download it when you're done and it'll work with jpegs and pings and other file types so that's another option for getting them lower in file size and of course the lower they are in file size the quicker your site's going to load so think about where you're putting these images and how how big they actually need to be displayed I mean, for us here, that's only about 400 pixels wide. For this, 1920 is usually enough. You can double it if you're thinking of people going to be looking at it on these great big cinema Max screens or something like that. But you really do want to try and keep your images down below a couple of megabytes in size if you can. So there you go, guys. There's a few options for optimizing and getting free stock photos. Like I say, Pexels is great. But obviously you want images that are going to pertain to the site that you're building and these sites are great for generic images but if you're building for customers you really want to get your images from them from reasonable quality and like I say the stocks has got a whole load of different ones here gratisography they're all comedy type ones as well that I'll put a smile on a few people's face usually if you're looking for something light-hearted and of course tiny ping if you want to cut things in half in size and the program GIMP is a free download so I hope that you found this useful today and enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.